What is the biggest purchase you've ever made? How much do you think you spend every month? What is the number one way you make money as a college student? How much money do you make every month? 30K, 40K a month? 30K? <laughs> Damn, okay. Oh, money. Everyone knows it, everyone loves it, but not everybody out there necessarily has a lot of it especially college kids. And as a struggling college kid myself, this one really hits home for me. I mean, growing up, I had always had the goal of having a million dollars in this whole lavish lifestyle by the time I was 20. And as you could probably tell from just looking at me, we're nowhere near that goal right now. I mean, as a college YouTuber, I wanna be able to go on all these fancy road trips and college tours and really just make the best videos I possibly can for all you sweet little viewers out there. But there's still one big thing standing between me and that dream college life. I'm really fucking broke. So today we're going out and asking a bunch of different students across a bunch of different backgrounds how much money they make and exactly how they made that money in the first place. From trust fund babies to broke college students to even a couple of day traders out there. We're checking all the boxes today, baby. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Do you guys mind if I ask you a couple questions for a YouTube video? Yes. 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 Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yes. All right. Let's do it. You ready? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. You nervous? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit, of course. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Mm, not really that much. Not really. No. No. I'm not nervous at all. No. No. Yeah. Okay. Why would you be nervous? Because I've seen your videos, so I, you know. Hey, you know what's up then. You know what's up. Awesome. So first question, what is your name and what is your major? My name is Ava. Stephanie. Anthony. Alejandro. Carson. Christian. Nathan. Pablo. Jackson. Daniela. I'm a criminology major on a pre-law track. My major is criminology. Criminology. Neuroscience. Mechanical engineering. Computer science. Computer science, computer engineering, business major, specifically finance, I'm a finance major, public health with a minor in child development, management information system, commercial entrepreneurship. Ooh, a fellow entrepreneur represent. I love it. And what do you intend to do with that major? Honestly, the plan is to go into law, pre law. I'm like really interested in anything like criminal. So, like, whether it's like the police force or like being a detective or like even just like lawyer. I'm trying to get into like investment banking. I want to go to health education. I want to end up working for a fan company. So, like, build bots and like program them and stuff like that i'm planning to like learn how to like create bots and stuff so i can hit sneakers and shit you know low-key because i just want to make my own drivers i want to be like tony stark but like better Ooh, next tony stark in the making real life iron man life. yeah it's a cyber security coding it's like big nowadays i want to do data science so i plan to hopefully minor in math and get that going i'm on a pre-med track so i'm hoping to be a doctor hopefully pursuing med school and hopefully one day becoming a psychiatrist psychiatrist oh i like that fancy okay so i intend of starting my own gym i was looking to maybe go into the navy and kind of work my way up from there maybe become an officer oh shit all right respect boom that's awesome a lot of business a lot of business all right simply said i love it and getting into the nitty-gritty here if you had to give an estimate on average how much do you think you spend every month i track that on my bank of america app so it's usually around like 500 i'd say probably like 400 a month maybe probably around like 400 500 400 500 $500. I mean, I like to go out, so a good amount. Probably like $300 a month. $150 a month. Maybe $100, $200. Maybe $100. I don't know. Wow. Maybe more. Nice. That is very frugal. That's like the best answer we've gotten all day. Good for you. Like $1,500. Fifty. <laughs> I'm gonna say a thousand, maybe. Maybe like two thousand. Maybe around seven, eight hundred. Probably less than a thousand. Maybe I'd say at most like eight hundred. But that's because I keep track of my money. I don't like spending more money than I need to. Okay, okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. What do you spend it on mostly? I would say the majority of my money is spent on food. Food, obviously. Definitely a lot on food. Food. Food? For sure. Straight food? Straight food. Food. Gas. Gas. Food. Food. Gas. Food. Oh, uh, gas. Clothes if I do buy clothes. And, like being a girl in college, like I gotta spend some money on clothes and like myself. It will be buying the shoes, you know, and then like you resell them. So obviously you will make the, like some of the money back. Wow. What's the most expensive resale you've gotten? Maybe like $600 shoe. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. Like workout stuff like protein, protein powder, like stuff like that. Or then there's shoes. I do spend money on shoes. But then most of it is thrifting and like school supplies. Those are very different answers today. I like that. Yeah. Sweet. And building off of that, if you had to give an estimate, how much money do you make every month? So when I was working, I probably made a month around 800 900 dollars 800 a month 300 for florida prepaid and bright futures I, I i'm getting paid to go to college so but i don't have a job i mostly relied on tips so i would say like nine dollars like an hour maybe ten dollars an hour minimum wage i just worked a minimum wage job for a bakery crumble cookies so probably like 450 i used to work at dunkin donuts the tips we would make it was like 15 dollars every day every week 150 plus tips is like 
250. One and a half to 2K. A thousand to a thousand five hundred a month. Ooh, okay, okay. All right, it's all right. That's, but, that's pretty, hey, that's better than me, my man. That is better than me. I, I don't really know. All I know is that, like, so far I have probably, like, maybe, like, 10,000, 12,000 in, like, shoes right now. About a thousand. All right, okay. Off of what? Daddy. <laughs> hey, at least you're honest here. I like it. I like it. So now the question that everyone's been waiting for here. What is the number one way you make money as a college student? Since I got here, I haven't made money. Is that refund check did hit though? My refund check from financial aid. That refund check hit, but to be honest, I don't know yet. I don't know. Well, currently I don't make any money here because I just got here. I've only been here a week. So I'm trying to look into ways to make money. I'm not too sure yet. I saw your video about scholarships and stuff and how you get paid to go to college. So I got to apply for some scholarships too. Oh, I'm telling you, if, if you just go around just selling some stuff, I guarantee you, you can make money. Just like side hustle. It's like trying to just find wherever I can work. Photography, like I, I took pictures on the side. Food jobs, like just easy stuff you can work for few hours every day i'm a pharmacy tech at publix pharmacy tech at publix hey represent <laughs> let's go i worked at publix and then papa john's just two summers trading trading stocks stock trader big stock trader okay okay i know so many people who had jobs here on campus or like work at like the front desk because like ras and stuff i was a front desk worker and i used to play on this thing called prize picks and i just bet money the number one way i uh, used to make money i guess not make money but what i would do is be smart with your money like if you know there's something like going on for free do it it might be a waste of time but if it's free just do it you know you could gain something you could gain you know insight someone might invite you to eat food or something and you might get a free like meal you know what i'm saying so like make connections be open be happy you know talk to people that would be my biggest way to make money wow <laughs> look at that flipping the script here i like it that's a very wise answer and i have a couple rapid fire questions for you you ready okay yeah you sure no <laughs> yes yes okay let's do it let's go right into it so first question what is the biggest purchase you've ever made Ooh, the biggest purchase i've ever made i don't even know it's gotta be like car payment probably my car my car my car it was like three thousand i helped fix something in my car i don't know what but it cost maybe like two three k probably a, a ticket to universal ticket to like a party same around wallet retro sixes the infrareds were the most expensive probably my computer my macbook my macbook laptop my laptop for here it was like a thousand dollars probably my computer and like sixth grade that was like a thousand bucks Woo! laptops have been killing people today that's been a big one for sure what is the cheapest thing you've ever done oh I, i've actually done a lot of cheap stuff show up to like uh, an event that i didn't want to go to because there was free food i like to walk everywhere instead of like you know driving my car i just do a lot of volleyball spike ball probably just like gambling probably sneaking into a movie whether it's movies i got friends who hook me up shoes i got friends at journeys who hook me up clothes i got friends who hook me up honestly most of the stuff i do i do at a very cheap it's who you know not what you know Hey, bars. So I pay for everything in cash, right? So if I want to get a burrito from Chipotle and I ran out of cash, what I would do is I would go through my car and look for all the coins. And I have pictures of like a whole bunch of quarters spread out on a counter so I could afford a burrito. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm a Jew, so like I just pick up change off the floor a lot. <laughs> if I see like a quarter or something. So. <laughs> hey, no shame in that. No shame in that. Off the bat, how much do you think I make every single month? I don't know. Um, Why well, know you're on all those scholarships? If I had to guess, four to five grand a month. Five thousand. Five thousand. A couple K. Maybe two K, three K. Fifty bands. Fifty bands. All right, you are generous, my man. Five hundred, six hundred. Like eight hundred, nine hundred. Eight hundred, like fifteen hundred. Well, you have like a really big platform, so like I'm thinking like thirty k, forty k a month. Thirty k. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I mean, YouTube. Everybody here right now, kind of like looking around. I mean, you got to probably make. What do you think? Like ten? Ten thousand? Ten thousand. Holy shit! No, I ain't David Dover out here. Ten to twelve k. Ten. 10? 10K? Yeah. That is correct. No, I'm just kidding. I make like 500 bucks a month. <laughs> it's a real struggle out here, but hey, YouTube check hitting soon. We got it. We're on the come up here. Y'all are inspiring me. Next time you see me, 10 to 12K every 10 to single 12, month. Come on, you bro. got it. You guys are my number one so reason now. You'll get there. We'll get there. Exactly. Thank you. It's not about now. It's about the future. It's not about where you start. It's about where you finish. Yes. Yes. And I have one final question. It's a little more philosophical here. Do you think that money equals happiness? Honestly, to an extent, yes. To an extent. I think money could buy happiness, but I don't think you need money to be happy. I think that sometimes you can buy things that do make you happy. I don't think that it equivalates happiness, obviously. I mean, it could, but it shouldn't revolve your happiness around money, you know? I feel like when people try to make money their happiness, they never find that happiness and they end up in a endless cycle and an endless loop. And they're just never happy with themselves. So, no, money does not equal happiness. 
happiness. Happiness is just finding a place of stability within yourself. I think just your environment and your friends around you equals happiness. I don't think money equals happiness. It, it's cool for a moment, but you need your family, family, friends, lover, whatever it is. You need to love those people for you to actually be happy. No, but definitely creates happiness. Why is that? Money don't make you sad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a fair point there. I, w I would rather be like sad and rich than sad and broke, so. Overall, no, but I do think it helps to have some like financial struggles lifted off of your shoulders. Obviously, like you need money to buy a house, like you need money to buy food. It's a complex like thing. Like you can't have no money and be happy because there's gonna be problems you can't solve with that money. But you can't have all the money in the world and you know be happy either because there's gonna be problems that come with the money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would say debatable. Look at that, everyone. I, I, as a freshman, I literally could not answer stuff like that well said. So joking. like, hey, good <laughs> shit, my man. I love that answer. Damn. I mean, I can't lie to you. For being 18 and 19 years old, all these kids really seem to have their life priorities figured out. So I mean, if you ever need finance advice or really any life advice in general, just go to your local college and talk to any freshman out there. They might even give you better advice than I can. But if you're looking for a little more college advice, I have a whole playlist of everything you need to know about college right here. And if you want to join the family of over 8.9 thousand subscribers now, you can click right here. And yeah, that's it for me this week, guys. And I will see you guys next week. Oh, uh, right, that's awesome. You want to be in a video? Oh, my dad like showed me your video. That's so crazy that you're like in real life. Oh, that's awesome. Nice to meet you. I mean, if you want to be in an interview, I can get you in a minute here. Sure. Yeah. Fun. Do you have anything else you want to shout out before we go here? Um, I want to shout out my dad because he watches his videos and I saw him and I recognized him because of my dad. So hi. Oh, hi, dad. <laughs>